So now welcome back in English lesson. Before we start our lessons, all of kids let's pray. Close your hands and close your eyes. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love and thank you for your kindness. Please bless us. We are ready to listen our teacher. Bless our teacher. Bless our parents and bless us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Well, so now all of kids, please open your class book, English page 20. So, take a look. The title is My Things. So, we are going to learn about the things we have. Maybe at home or at school. But before we are going to learn about Unit 3, about My Things, I want to give you assignments. Tugas prakteknya adalah in Unit 2, di Unit kedua, tell about your family's hobbies. Jadi ceritakan tentang hobi keluargamu. For example, my mom likes cooking. My dad likes fishing. My brother likes playing football. My sister likes reading. So tell about your family's hobbies. Okay kids? So and don't forget to send in FB and please take teacher Ani. Alright, so now let's continue to the chapter 3. The title is My Thing. So now let's see. You can see here, there are some of the things. So before we are going to see our class book, I want to ask you, how many things do you have at home kids? Ada berapa banyak benda-benda yang anak teacher miliki di rumah? Oh, alright. Teacher, I have camera. I have computer. I have television. I have chair. I have table and so on. So now let's see. What are the things here? Let's say computer, TV, DVD player, CD player, MP3 player, camera, and turn on, turn off. So, alright, you can practice at home and after listen this video. Alright kids, so let's see part 2. Listen and read. So, you will listen the video and all the kids, please follow the speaker in this video. And I hope your English day by day more fully. Alright kids? Next, let's see here the question. Pertanyaannya from this conversation. What are they doing in this conversation? And what are they talking about? Oh, they are talking about the things. So, how can say how can they say about their things? Bagaimana mereka mengucapkan tentang benda-benda mereka? Or what do they say if they need a help to another friends? Bagaimana mereka meminta bantuan kepada teman-temannya yang lain? So, let's see and listen this video. Check it out. Family and friends. multi room 3. Unit 3. The things. Listening 24. Listen and point. Computer. TV. DVD player. CD player. MP3 player. Camera. Turn on. Turn off. MP3 player. TV. Camera.
CD player. Turn on. DVD player. Turn off. Computer. Listen and repeat. Computer. TV. DVD player. CD player. MP3 player. Camera. Turn on. Turn off. Amy, can you turn on the TV, please? Max, watch this. No, I like my book. Your book is boring. No, it isn't. Can I use your computer, Leo? Yes, you can. Have you got a school project? Yes, it's about space. Leo, I think it's broken. My book is about space, Holly. You can read it. Well, OK. Can I have my book, please? No, it's great. Next, open page 21, part 1. Listen to the story again and repeat. Next, part 2, look and say. So, we will learn about possessive adjectives. Yaitu tentang kepunyaan. So, let's learn. You, subject you. Do you still remember all subjects? Yes, correct. I hope all of you still remember that. Subject I, you, we, they, he, she, it. So, how if we can say our own something? Or something belongs to who? Bagaimana kita mengucapkan untuk kepunyaan kita sesuatu yang kita punya atau menunjukkan ini adalah kepunyaanku. So, we have to use possessive adjective. Kita harus menggunakan possessive adjective yang artinya menunjukkan kepunyaan. So, let's see. You. This is your city. Subject we. That's our computer. Subject they. That's their city player. So, how to make in question sentence? Can I use your computer? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can you turn off the DVD player, please? So, you can say, yes, I can't. Or, no, I can't. Understand, kids? So, if we want to say something that we own, we use possessive adjective. Okay, kids? So, now let's see part 3. Write your, our, and their. So, before you fill these blanks, you have to see the picture first. So, right, kids? So, now let's learn about Possessive adjectives. What are possessive adjectives? And possessive adjective is used for. So you have to know first possessive adjective are used to show possession or ownership of something. Katanya possessive adjective itu digunakan untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan atau kepemilikan sesuatu. 
But what are the possessive adjectives? Apa apa saja ke possessive adjective? So now let's take a look. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. I am night today. I is a subject pronoun. This is my cake. My is a possessive adjective of I. You are a student. You is subject pronoun. That is your classroom. Your is a possessive adjective of you. Remember that, kids. Next, he drives a car. He is a subject pronoun of male or man. His car is blue. His is a possessive adjective of he. Next, she has a bag. She is a subject pronoun of girl or female. Her bag is pink. Her is possessive adjective of she. So now let's see again. It is a giraffe. It is a subject pronoun of noun or animal. Its neck is long. It is possessive adjectives of it. Next, we love to play. We is subject pronoun. More than one or many people. This is our playground. Our is possessive adjectives of we. Alright kids, so now let's see again. You are students. You, subject you, there are more than one student here you can see. So, that is your school. Your is possessive adjectives of you. That is plural. They like basketball. They is a subject pronoun of many people. That is their ball. There is possessive adjectives of they. Alright. So now let's see again. So we want to practice subject pronoun and possessive adjectives. I, my, you, your, he, his. She, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, and they, their. So, that is subject pronoun and possessive adjective. Let's see another example. They are watching TV. Subject they is a subject pronoun. What about possessive adjective of they? Let's see. Blank and blank TV is big. So possessive adjective of they is there. Very good. So let's see another example. Ah, this is an elephant. Elephant is animal. So, subject pronoun elephant, it. So, possessive adjectives, its, ears, are big. Correct. What about another example? Let's see. I love animals. Subject pronoun I. So, possessive adjectives of I is, this is, my pet lizard. Correct. Next, let's see again. He 
is a teacher. Subject pronoun he. He is male or a man. So possessive adjective of he. Yes, correct. He is. So these are his students. Very good. Next. Let's see. You have a bicycle. Subject pronoun is you. So the possessive adjective is you is yes, correct. Your. So your bicycle is red, correct. Next example. She is at the beach. Subject pronoun is she. She is a female or a girl. So the possessive adjectives of she. Do you know? Yes, correct. Her. So that is her beach ball. Okay, kids understand? Right. So next example. Let's see again. We love the snow. Subject pronoun is we. So the possessive adjectives of we is yes, correct. This is our snowman. Our subject pronoun we, possessive adjective of we, our. Very good. Now let's see again. You love reading. Subject pronoun is you. So the possessive adjective of you is Yes, correct. Your. So, those are your books. Yes. So, let's see your book page 20, part 4. Do this exercise, your kids. And let's continue to the page 22, part 1. Speaking as an answer. So, this is only practice at home. You can use these words from the box. For example, what's picture to? Nom gambar apakah yang nomor dua? So you make the sentence you can take from the box. For example, can you open the window, please? What's picture six? Gambar yang enam bagaimana? Yes. Can you help me with my homework, please? So if I ask you, what's picture number four? Yes. Can you put on your coat? Okay, kids. So this is only your practice. And let's see part two. Close your book and write three questions. Tutup bukumu dan tulis tiga pertanyaan. For example, can you open the window, please? Can you turn on the TV, please? Can you close the door, please? Okay, kids. That's so easy to practice your English. So that's your English. Be fluently. Right. So part three. Listen and sing. So the title is It's Rainy Today. So all of my kids, please sing this song and follow this video. Check it out. Listening 26. Listen and sing. It's rainy today. It's rainy today, can we watch a DVD? It's rainy today, can we play our new CD? It's a rainy day, can we watch TV? Can you watch a show with me? It's a rainy day. It's sunny today, can we play? in the sun it's sunny today we can have a lot of fun can we run and can we play can you play with me all day it's a sunny day so now let's see your workbook page 20 so do it this exercise starts from part one Part 2 and continue to the page 21, part 1 and part 2. And the last workbook page 22, 
part one and part two. So that's all our English lesson for today, kids. All of you, please hold your hands, close your eyes. Thank you, God. We have started in this lesson. Please bless us so that we always understand all the lesson from our teachers. Bless our teachers, bless our friends, and bless our parents. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright. Bye-bye, kids. I love you. I miss you. Mwah.